Hello everyone, Spastonaut here, and welcome to Princess Nom Nom. This game was suggested to me a long time ago. I can't remember by who at this point, but I saw somebody talking about it in a Twitch stream, and I was like, oh, you know, I need to go try that game. So uh, the camera position on this one's a little weird, because I went in and I was looking at how the game runs, just, just to get a gist of how to play it. And it utilizes every single corner, so it's a little weird. Bear with me. But we're going to play a little bit of this. And... It looks like it's one of those games where you, well, I think the, basically what the game is, you have run out and you go get food and you feed Princess Nom Nom, and then you've got like upgrades and stuff that you can get. So that's what I'm assuming it is. So you click, and you have like a little person that pops out of her belly, I guess it's like a baby, and then the little baby goes and gets stuck, and then he comes back. I've got my cursor showing so you can see uh, where I'm clicking, and then you send him out. And then he brings back some more food. And that food gives points. I can click out in another one. But then now I need 40 to be able to send two out into the forest. So now I have to wait until I get 40. Which means I gotta keep, just keep sending them one by one until I get 40. One more time. Boop. And 40. So you now I can send two. So I pretty, much, I think that's pretty much what the gist of the game is. It's one of those, um, I don't know exactly what the genre of game is called. I call it a time waster game, just because you can sit here and just mindlessly play it all day, but you get super, super addicted to them. So I had another game that was like that, and I can't remember what it's called right now. But you just, you, you find yourself just drawn in because you don't realize that you're just spending so much time playing the game. <laughs> So, I'm going to do a little bit of back and forth here, and you're going to see me skip ahead. And uh, maybe even fast forward some so you guys can see how long the gameplay actually is. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish it here, but at least I want to unlock as much as I can so you guys can get a feel for the game and then go play it yourself. Uh, I did find this game on itch.io. That's where I was able to download it from. And... Oh yeah, my head's up. When you open this game, it is extremely loud. Like, it's got like these uh, super high-pitched little ding noises and stuff like that. It'll blow your eardrums out, so just a heads up for anybody who actually gets this and plays it. It's really loud. Alright, so I've sent them back and forth quite a bit. There's a new area I can unlock here for 50, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Pop another one out, and then send them on a run. Let's check our upgrades, though. Uh, reduce the time needed to get food from the forest, which means that these little guys running out this way will move just a little bit faster. Alright, so I completely screwed that up, and I hit... You have to be really careful, because it's really easy to accidentally hit the other uh, side buttons. But now I can send three into the forest. What I was trying to do is just get built up on two, and then unlock the next area, and go on, you know, so on and so forth. But it happens. It'll be okay. Okay, so one thing that I, uh, I'm about to buy is says reduce new areas price by 25%. So that should bring down this 200 significantly for me to buy it. See, so it's, well, that means that wasn't that much. But it's still cheaper. So that'll help us in the long run, I hope, when it comes to getting the other areas. I still want to run in the back and forth just for a little bit, just to get more upgrades and whatnot. Okay, so another thing that I did that I didn't uh, mention in the last quick uh, snippet was that I bought a forest upgrade and now I'm buying a uh, fishing upgrade, which will actually bring back some of the... I don't know if you saw it with the forest, but it's like instead of a single berry, they brought back multiple berries. And now for here, it's like they'll bring me sushi and those will give me extra points. So instead of being like worth 10, it'll be worth like 20. 
So you can see it with the forest one. And in this one you can see that they're worth 40 now if they come back at sushi. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this area here, pop the guy out, and go down that way. Alright, so what I'm ending up doing is that you can apparently max out at 10 per, sec or per section. So I figured if I max out my sections and then just keep sending 10 every time, it'll be easier to unlock the newer areas. Sometimes I wish that people would just bring me food while I sit around. But I know I can't do that. I've been, um, oops, I forgot, I forgot another one. I've been going to the gym and um, working out and whatnot. I mean, I'm not doing too much right now because I'm still easing my way into it. I'm still trying to put myself on a decent schedule. Um, but it's kind of, it's kind of enthralling. Like it's not enthralling. What's it called? Uh, em empowering. It feels really good to actually be doing something positive for my body. Instead of putting gross stuff into it like I've been doing. After this, I'm probably actually gonna end up going. <laughs> so I haven't gone today. I woke up late. I woke up late today, and I really, really want to go. Oh, also something I've noticed is that um, the amount it's costing to get like pop out. I don't know what they're called. I'm just gonna call them the kids. To minion. We're gonna call them minions. It's, it's, the amount it costs to pop out a minion increases every single time. I wonder what the upgrades are right now. I also noticed that a lot of upgrades unlock while you, um, when you pop out a new minion. See? Popping discount. Reduce minions. Oh, they're all called minions. Price was 25%. We're gonna get that. Some of the times they go and it sounds so demonic. Really scary sounding. Now that was a food gains increase, meaning that items that were used to be worth 10 are now worth 20. Or 25, if that's what it is. Yeah. They either they're going at 5 or 10, something like that. But the point is, is now every time something kind of food comes in, it is an increased amount of money. I know everybody has um, their way of playing these kinds of games. Like a lot of people would have like invested solely into one group by now. And I'm investing- oh, I didn't even pop out a sixth. Oops. Oh well. Well, that works, actually. That's why I couldn't send him. Okay, so now I've made them all significantly faster, if you can't tell. Starting to wonder at this point if I would be faster with a uh, non-trackball mouse. That's what people people seem to be really amazed. They're like, you play with that, you play games with that, and I'm like, yeah, I do. And sometimes it's efficient. I don't have to drag my mouse all over the place. But uh, when I was at Magfest, um, I was playing on a regular uh, mouse, and it was really weird, but it was actually pretty efficient too. So there may be a chance that I might switch back to. Uh, 
two-corded mice, and then this would be like my travel mouse or something, since I don't have to worry about a cable or anything. Oh, no, we'll Alright, let's check the upgrades. Nothing, so we're gonna upgrade this new area. I didn't think I had four to send. I didn't have four to send, so I'll pop out another one. All right. Origin of the Nom. Transcend your Nom existence. Become Nom itself. I haven't unlocked everything, but I think that might end the game. So I don't know if I want to max out my efficiency to everything, or go ahead and end the game and see what happens. Because I've never actually ended the game. I've only played like a little bit here and there to just give a feel for the game itself. But here, I'll unlock this area and pop out a guy so you guys can see what comes out of that side at least. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna go for efficiency. I'm gonna max it all out. We're doing this. We're doing this right now. But I hope that even though I'm doing this, you guys will actually take the chance and the time to sit down and do this yourself. Because it's a lot of fun. I'm having an extreme amount of fun with this. I enjoy games like this. This is something I would play in my spare time over and over and over again. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually buying all the expensive upgrades. I figured that'll just get them out of the way. Pop another dude out. Or not. Okay, that's cool. Here we go. Go. Yeah, I think I might switch back. I won't actually switch to an actual game mouse. Which sucks. I don't want another cable to plug in. I think it's gonna replace my wireless piece. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I could transcend right now. Oh, wait. I wanna know what else is out there. Okay, I really wanted to max things out, but the amount it's gonna cost to pop out a minion now would be the amount of money I would need to transcend. Look up, I just realized did that crown get bigger? Was it always that big? I don't remember. But basically, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and transcend her because, like I said, the cost of the minions is ridiculous right now. And I don't think it's giving me the option to reduce the cost of minions. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and transcend. Oh, that's it? It just tells you the amount of time you took to transcend? I could have done that like five minutes ago. Gosh. So, anywho. That's Princess Nom Nom, I guess. I'm a little disappointed about the ending. I was expecting some kind of cool cutscene or something. This is that loud music I was telling you about when you opened the game. So, well, that's Princess Nom Nom. I hope you guys take the opportunity to actually try the game yourself. And I really hope that this video was entertaining for you. This is the kind of game I, the kind of games I actually like to play a lot, like quite often. So I figured I would share it with you, and hopefully you guys get some enjoyment out of it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend, love one another, and I will catch you later.
Bye.